Welcome to Paris. What's up? Jeez! <laughs> Before I go to Paris, I have to run around New York for a little bit because I've been inside editing all week. My friend Jesse is here What's up? <laughs> from upstate. We explored the brand new skyscrapers over at Hudson Yards, which are incredibly well designed. And the next night, I headed out for the City of Lights. I kicked off the week with sunrise at the Trocadero. Sunrise was an hour later than I thought it would be, and I swear it's only getting colder out here. Back in Paris for the week. This is actually my second time here. I'm gonna go warm up for a minute. Paris is such a beautiful city, mostly due to its strict building guidelines that give it a level of consistency not found in many places. The whole thing fits together flawlessly. And thanks to the height limit on construction, our Airbnb rooftop gave us a sweeping panorama of the 18th arrondissement all the way up to the Sacre Coeur. Elevators like big enough for a single person. Look at that three person maximum. By the way, my voice is really messed up. I feel fine, but sorry to all of Chase's fans. It's not him, it's me. Cozy. We're getting dangerous. We're gonna go ahead and, oh God. <laughs> Gang's all here. Gang's all here. <laughs> Except for Jonathan who's running down the stairs. Let's try to jump all at the same time. <laughs> no. We made it. Do the coffee clink. Coffee clink, coffee clink. That's it. <laughs> I mean, you have to start with espresso. Cheers. Mm. Oh, it's so good. It's really strong. <laughs> He's got the blue shirt, red pants memo. Same thing. What is same, this? <laughs> same, same outfit. We spent most of the day walking around, taking in the sights and snapping photos. A lot of cameras. This is master photographer Tim in action. So we're gonna try a different way to get around the city. What do I push? Here Just this hold is... it here. Oh my Just god. Hold and point. Oh my god. <laughs> Look alive, guys. You're in the vlog. <laughs> like... oh, no. Chase, what are you doing? <laughs> Be sure to get a shot of my card number. Scan. Unlock. Here we go. No. Why? So. This whole lime thing is is not really going so good. It's been about 20 minutes. Lime, if you're out there, you exhale. Step aside, Chase. Let me show you how it's done. Right. It just works. <laughs> I might bust my ass. <laughs> Brakes are definitely broken. All right, guys, billion dollar startup right here. All right, we found the scooter. Brakes actually work this time. This is so much fun. Is it working? Yeah, we need a squat of these. So just kick and then do it. He's off. This is cool. We found the super trendy Instagram basketball court photo shoot area. You want to make sure you're using a medium-ish aperture. Here we go. We're in business. I'm gonna briefly get acquainted with this. Can you vlog and scoot? My brakes on the other hand, so probably not. I quickly decided that it is not possible to drive those scooters without having both hands free. Got it. on the search for a really good happy hour. Finding one was not difficult. The old fashioned is Tim's, would you call it your drink of choice? I mean, thus far, 
I am quite skeptical, considering it doesn't look like whiskey at all. But I don't know. Let me see. Let me see. That is not an old fashioned. Am I, am I on? Yes. You're, okay. you're, live. you're live. I'm live? You're live. Okay. I've done a full review and investigation, and this might in fact be an excellent whiskey sour. A terrible old fashioned. A terrible old fashioned. They don't offer Manhattans here, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I was actually able to tell the bartender how to make a Manhattan, which I will consider one of my greatest international accomplishments. Bar number one, success. Bar number one, success. Three drinks I bought in New York City cost the same as we just all four had in five <laughs> hours. <laughs> There's a school across the street from where we're staying, and when the kids go outside, it is like nonstop loudness. Here's your photo shoot tip. You buy cheap champagne to spray everywhere and good champagne to drink. That's it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? There's not an admit here. It's like a sad shake. <laughs> Alright, I'll just do a... One euro. One euro and 30 cents. Oh, it's, it's horrible. I'm here for five days and you'll probably only see a few minutes of this, so if you want to know what we really did the entire time, it was mostly that. Here we go, back into the world's smallest elevator. For this to be such a large city, it's so quiet in the mornings. No construction or traffic. The bakeries and corner cafes come to life first, and the smell of fresh bread and espresso fills the air. Official European girl issued white shoes. <laughs> oh yeah, this is good. Tim is using a tilt shift lens to do these portraits. You see that? This is what the insta this is the real thing. This is not an Instagram filter. Down to our last few hours here in Paris, just hanging out, taking photos, riding around on the electric scooters. We also saw Childish Gambino last night, which was mind-blowingly good. It was the best concert of my life. The energy, the vibe, that man. Yeah, it was amazing. Lasers, and we were right there on floor gold, like front row, because it was cheaper to do that than to see it in Madison Square Garden. Everyone else had to leave a bit earlier, so Tim and I enjoyed one last meal of that delicious French bread before heading our separate ways. Hey to Barcelona. Barcelona. I'll see you back in New York in a few days. Adios, amigo. Paris grew on me a lot during my second visit, and I will definitely be back. But I was so happy when I got back to New York because winter was finally over. You know what season it is? Smorgasburg season. It's iced coffee season. This is Smorgasburg. It is a weekly food festival here in Brooklyn and Williamsburg. This is stuffed calamari. Just like, aside from pasta, this is my second specialty of eating. That's a favorite. You don't know what it's stuffed with? I don't know. Oh, sorry. Voice off the other side. Y Yassi says she wants to be in the vlog more, so. <laughs> Squeeze a little lemon on there because if the chef puts it on the plate, it is supposed to be in the meal. 